Here we are at Sharon Johnston Park to the uh, northeast of Huntsville. Really just a uh, hidden gem in our view. Very quiet and widely spaced sites. Of course, we're here with Gus the Groovy Bus that we purchased not too long ago. But wide open ballpark fields in the back here. Some very old log cabin structures. I think a good feature of this park is there's just plenty of room for kids to run and play. Several covered spaces that they use for weddings. Very friendly campground host there. They have a small fishing pond back here that I'm walking towards. You can see it there between the trees. And for $2, you can go back there and fish. Again, I think a lot of families enjoy that. There is a gun range nearby. If you like to shoot guns, it's very close. It is a part of the park. Here again, is just the field behind the camper. You know, so many parks you go to are just packed in there and you really can't get away from it. This is just a great place. It's an old, well, I don't know if it's old or not, but a stone fence area back there. And there is a walking trail down here by, by this small pond. They lock the gate into the park every night. And so it's very, very quiet in here. Not a whole lot of partying or anything of that nature. So if you really like wide open spaces and the ability to get out and stretch your legs, this is just a really great place. Now, I don't think it's real convenient to the interstates, but if you're willing to travel off of Interstate 65, about 30 minutes. Or if you want to stay someplace north of Huntsville, because often the Rocket Center is, is packed. They do have a campground there. And we tried to get in a Montesano State Park and it was packed. But I'm really happy we found this. Here's a little walking trail. And you can see some places for camping, or not camping, but for eating back there. It's just a really wide open park. And I'll walk down the road with the RVs here in just a moment. We're just exploring back here in the back of the park here. There's another view of the, uh, the park. Of course, you can't fish from the bridge. There's the pond. And then you have several covered areas up here for gatherings. We're going to head on up the road here and see what what else we can find. I come up the road and here's another large, very large field. This would really be a great place for a family reunion if you like to, uh, if the whole family likes to camp. Wow, look at all the, uh, the space up here. And again, I'm going to swing around. The campground is, is back through there. Just a wide open, wide open area. To get out and walk, that same fence circles around by those trees. You probably, oh, you can see it there. And this is uh, Sharon Johnston Park. It was $30 a night for full, full hookups. I think you can go to their webpage and find find more information. And my wife was again saying it's a gated park. So after dark, they locked the gate and you can leave and come back. They give you a key, but people just can't drive back in here. It's a really neat area. 
Well, there's a big playground over there. I don't know if you can see it in the background here. Again, very family friendly place. See a playground over there. Looks like a soccer field over there. Yeah, you can kind of see one of the goals. And we're going down here to visit this old stone structure to see what it is. And just to give you a perspective, the campground is, is back over there through these trees. So again, just wide open. Let's see what we have here. Some type of very old settlement. Looks like this was a big structure at one time and that was a huge fireplace to heat, I guess. Well, pretty neat. Somebody's in there looking at it. Got another covered pavilion. Of course, fishing. Fishing is $2 a day, I believe is what I saw on the sign. I don't know what kind of fish they have in there, but a lot of old structures. There's another old log cabin through there. So uh, just a really neat place. Here's another view from the water. Uh, you'll see the campground over there. And through the trees, you'll see Gus the Groovy Bus. You know, this is a really great spot. I've stayed at resorts and often you're packed in there pretty tight and it has a resort name because it has a nice pool and maybe a hot tub, but if you want to get out and get away from people and have plenty of space to walk around and stretch and, and enjoy a nice peaceful day, I really don't think you can beat this place. Now this video is being shot on a rather gloomy day, late in the day, so it might appear a little dark, but again, let me pan around and you can see. If you can't find some space to yourself out here, I don't know where you could ever find it. Here we are back at the uh, campground. They have several back-end sites which are spaced a little further apart. There are a few pull-throughs. I think the negative is that they're not perfectly flat. You can see some of the slope there on the bus. The pads are older. We didn't use the pads, so I really speak to that. But here's a picture of how much room you have between sites at the back end sites. The water hookup's a bit strange, and they probably do this to keep them from freezing, but you have to put your hose down, down to the spigot, which is down in that hole. They do have 50 amp with full hookup. And there's a fire pit. But I guess the only negative I would say with the, with the site and the other sites we saw driving around is that they really aren't perfectly level. So that's the trade-off, but certainly nothing extreme. You can make it work for sure. So that's the trade-off to have, you know, just a, a great wide open area. Okay, well that's it for Sharon Johnston Park, northeast of Huntsville, Alabama. Well, good morning everybody this is an early morning shot of Sharon Johnston before everybody gets up and moving we're going to depart today you can see off in the distance over here there's more camping that road loops loops around there's also a a big loop up here with pull-through sites but they're much closer together than what you have out here Very peaceful, very quiet.
pretty much a straight road. Of course, we're going to have to loop around, but you come in this direction from the gate. So it's as big rig friendly as, as any place I've been so far. As I mentioned, you can see some sloping in the pads, but I'll take all of the good over worrying about the uh, a little bit of uh, leveling. Again, just such a quiet place. I haven't heard a peep at night. It's just been nice and that's the campground host. You'll call the host directly. The host is in spot nine. We're in spot seven and I think we'll request this spot again the next time we're here. But just a real hidden gem. So I hope this helps somebody make the decision to to come and visit. The hookups are a little bit strange as I showed you with the water connection down on the ground, but again, there's just so many positives to this place. If you like wide open country settings to relax, I'm not sure you can do much better than this.